Duo is setting out to change the Ned Rig game. Daiwa brings us a high speed exist and our number one selling little swim bait that you guys have been dying to get back in is back. This is what's new this week at the Hookup Tackle. Welcome to the Hookup Tackle. The Hookup Tackle is the world's largest showcase of Mega Bass products, featuring baits and colors not found at any other dealer. The Hookup also offers a wide display of OSP, Evergreen, Depths, Lucky Craft, Jackal, and many more. The Hookup Tackle is owned and operated by family, is staffed by guides and verified tackle nerds who love helping anglers elevate their craft. If you're in the Phoenix area, we'd love to have you stop by our showroom and check out the wonderful world of Mega Bass and the Hookup for yourself. If you shop online, there are almost 10,000 SKUs of Mega Bass products alone with hundreds of other companies and new products being added daily. So next time you're looking for that hard to find bait, that color your fish have never seen before, or maybe you just want to elevate your game, look at thehookuptackle.com. Welcome back, my friends. I am Ben with The Hookup Tackle, the tackle to talk to you on Instagram, being joined this fine Sunday morning. Happy Sunday morning, Jeffrey the King. Um, when did you become a mechanic? Listen, I've been working on flux capacitors for a long time, right? I'm glad you're noticing the new style. I should have just included this in to the intro. By the way, new shop shirts available, Sims hookup tackle collabs. I'm for hire, Jeff. What do you yeah. want me to fix of yours? My Maybe your attitude, my your beer drinking ability? Manifold. Hmm. Do you even know what that is? That sounds dirty. I'm just gonna <laughs> drink. You know what? I'm good at wearing the shirt and drinking the beer. That's the mechanic in me. So you're okay, being the rest of this stuff I'm gonna sub out. I'm smart. A poser mechanic. Hmm? No. Uh, interesting. It's a shop shirt. We're in the shop. You need you need to broaden your horizons there, guy. This is dope. More on this later. By the way, if this is the first time watching the channel, <laughs> well, see you later. You probably already turned off. Uh, if you know the nonsense, we're the Hookup Tackle USA. This is what's in this week at the Hookup Tackle. We highlight new product drops, important restocks, drink beer, make fun of Jeff. Mm. Jeff, would you like a beer? Uh, no. No, I would not like a beer. Please, thank you. Yep. Beer is for adults. Should we talk about some tackle? Let's see what you have this week. Okay. I feel like I need like some wrenches or something. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go buy myself a wrench set. That'll be good. Some socket. Yeah. Let's talk about these. All right. Back from Raid. I know a lot of you guys have been chomping at the bit to get these. This has probably been the single most asked about restock maybe that I've ever had. Uh, liberos are hot. They fly out of here every time we get them. This is your chance, guys. So the five gram and seven gram, all the colors are back in stock. This is an amazing little swim bait. It's a perfect swim bait to complement like an Okashira screw head. I'm gonna open one up just in case you guys uh, haven't seen these before. Let's just cover it again, make sure we know. So each one comes in a little clam pack. By the way, they're gonna come with two fully rigged with the heads in the bait and then two spare baits as well. So again, five gram and seven grams, so three sixteenth ounce and quarter ounce. They've got that beautiful kind of body balance head shape design. So similar to like the Mega Bass body balance head, they've got that really tiny little underspin. It's a custom built swim bait that fits on there, but this head also fits great, like a three inch spark shab, the two eight Kitek, any of that smaller swim bait pile tail stuff is great. You've got the little brush guard. It's just a sick little bait for staying down deep. The fish smoke it, they're gonna fly out of here again. Right, so here we go. I'm gonna fly through some of these colors with you. I didn't bring all of them, but I brought a bunch. So Juketsu is back. This is kind of the all white one, followed by Shikoku, which is the black guy. There's a pink trick. There is Stain Wakasagi, the bait, ice back. There's a chai gill. There's an onion gill. There's a clear Wakasagi. And then there is a shark back. 
Okay, so everything is in stock, five gram, seven gram, grab them while you can. Not sure exactly when the next restock is, probably later spring would be my guess. But if you guys have been waiting, the Libero from Raid, those are available right now. All right, Jeff, the last few weeks have been pretty mega bass heavy. Yeah, I would say so. Uh, and we've got a ton of mega bass coming down the pipe for next month. So I thought maybe we should take a week off. Oh, wow. Nah, I'm just kidding. Oh. There's always cool mega bass Something. coming. So this week, something cool that has been in the works for a while, some brand new Mega Bass boxes. So six boxes to tell you guys about. This is pretty dope. A lot of these are gonna look familiar. This is a very similar box to the Depths box. Just, it's gonna be red, branded Mega Bass, Beta Champions, right? So there are three, these are the lunch boxes and there are three different sizes in this. So I'm gonna show these to you, okay? So there is a 3010, NDM, so this is a pretty traditional, smaller size lunchbox. Now, they are gonna come with multiple inserts, unlike the old lunchboxes uh, that only had like one or two. So now you can actually put one in each slot and actually divide your box. So just a traditional kind of smaller size. That is that one. There is a 3020 double deep. So this is the NDDM. So this is gonna be a deeper box. Great for storing bigger baits. Again, there's multiple inserts, so you can set it up however you wanna set it up. You can put smaller swim baits in here, like tiny clashes, or what else do you like to throw? Pretty much just tiny clashes. So you can do all kinds of stuff like that, or you can do soft plastics or jerk baits or whatever you want. There is also a 2010 NDDM. So this one is a black with a clear lid. Uh, so just a little bit smaller. It has one single divider there. So for some longer baits, whether they be wake baits or, you know, jerk baits or whatever, of course, you can always take the slot out and put soft plastics or whatever you want to do with your box. So three new lunch boxes from Mega Bass. This is a one-time offering for now. They are working on some new box projects. So there will be more boxes coming this year. But for now, this was kind of a one and done special deal that they wanted to do. So if you guys are Mega Bass fans like we are, now is the time to grab and stock up. Those are available now. And then there's not a lot of these, but wall supplies last. I haven't advertised these at all. So you guys are the first to hear this. There are some Mega Bass reversible boxes as well. Okay, so there are three different sizes. So there is a Mega Bass RV86. So this is a smaller size. It's gonna be perfect for like your trout size baits, Karashi's, X Nanahan's, that size stuff it is reversible. So it's on both sides. This is a great one to fit in a pack. Let's see if it'll fit in the shop shirt, shall we? Oh, that's just for cigarettes. But you know what's cool about this? Are you, oh, oh. Oh Ooh. yeah, baby. The titty pocket. Look at that titty pocket. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. So that must be very comfortable. Easy to store. Oh, it is. And you look. The reversible boxes. Not ridiculous. Super like chest simple. Is... Well, I've been working at the left side of my body a lot. In you know, like weird square motions. Okay, so that's the D86. There is also a reversible. 120, so this is the RV 120. This is gonna be a little bit bigger box. Again, it's not gonna quite store like a 110, but you could put a Junior in here, you could put your X-Nanahans, your X-80 Trick Darters, smaller crankbaits like your Super Z3s will all fit in this guy, super sick. And then there is the reversible 140, which is big enough to hold a 110. You could also put a plus one. Plus two won't fit, uh, but a 110, uh, plus one, all those will fit in this. This is basically the same as like the Duo 140 box, okay? Same exact box, just it's red, it says Mega Bass, and it's cool, okay? So if those speak to you, if you're Mega Bass fans, new boxes, wall supplies last, available right now. All right, while we're on Mega Bass, uh, we did a huge restock this week across the entire line. So if there's anything we've been out of, this would be a great week to check it out, including Jerk baits, so I know, you know, 110s have been flying out of here, so all the 110s are back. 
plus ones, plus one juniors, everything that you guys need for this time of the year is all back in stock. You can throw them in the new boxes, which would be great. So uh, check that out. We also did a huge restock in the X80 Trick Darters. So this is a great alternative to a 110. It's a real erratic action, uh, really good when you just need to fish a little bit more aggressively. So all the colors in X80 Trick Darters return. We also still have a handful left of those Japan only Super Z3 colors. Some of them have sold out, but there's still a few left over there. So if you guys missed out last week, Ito Kanari, AL Tan and Watergill, I think there's some Oikawa still left over there, still a few of those. We also did a huge restock in the Iba Eyeshads in some of our favorite colors. Uh, so like Blue Craw is in the TX is there, Secret Dry Ice, one of my favorite shad colors. So all those return, sewages return. Right, so those are back. That's the hot new wake bait with the adjustable lip, deep sixes, everybody's favorite crank bait for kind of suspended fish and ticking uh, tops of trees. So all those return, plus mag drafts, spark shads, all that kind of stuff. So if you guys have been waiting on anything, this is a great week to check out the restock from Megabass. All right, Jeff, let's jump over to Duo Duo. Has been on fire, rolling new baits, new colors. This is something very different okay. from them. Okay. They want to expand their offering to more people. They realize that there's a lot of the country that just don't like jerk baits, I guess. I don't know. Who are these people? Weirdo. Right? Well, there's a lot of part of the country that's into Ned Rig fishing. We know Griff is a huge fan of the huge. Ned Rig. Yeah, right? absolutely. So Duo has been working for the last couple of years to develop a Ned bait that they feel can elevate Ned bait fishing. They didn't want to just create a piece of plastic, right? So you remember the wriggle stick, yep. right? That was kind of like the fast falling kind of deal. Mm -hmm. Well, they took that idea, slimmed it down, shaped it a little different uh, to create a Ned Rig bait that has an action that's totally different than any other Ned Rig bait on the market. So I introduce you the Wriggle ND Slim 3.0. That's a mouthful. That's a lot. It? Actually, I should say, I introduce to you the Realis Wriggle ND Slim 3.0. There it is. Okay, so Midwest finesse right there. Okay, let's talk about this thing. All right, I know see you shaking your head. I know you're not a Ned fan. Okay, so a couple things to point out. If you guys are Ned rig fishing, this is one you're gonna wanna pay attention to. So it is a flavored. They have put all the same flavoring that's in all their soft plastics, basically the same flavoring that's in like a Kitek is in the Duo Soft Plastics. It is an elastomer plastic, so it is gonna have the same great durability as some of the baits that you're using now. It's going to have that same buoyancy, but all these little movements, right? So it's a little bit flatter on one side, as you can see, right? And it's got these bumps. It's a very interesting shape, but when you see it fall, instead of it just kind of falling like this, it has a really tremendous wobble on the way down so if you guys put it on a lighter head it's going to really just kind of wobble and vibrate all the way down you're going to catch a ton of fish on this thing i think you're going to find this is going to become a staple for you uh if you're not ned rig fishing now maybe it's worth trying because now you get a kind of a cool jdm ned bait right so a bunch of cool colors they're named a little bit differently so i'm going to walk through with you to make sure you guys know what we're looking at okay this is Raw Belly CS. And I'm gonna take them out of the package because in the package, they kind of look like one color and then when you put the light on them, they're, they're like a different transparency. So even though this is an elastomer, I can see right through that, right? So Raw Belly CS is that guy. This one I don't think I need to take out. Tundra, which is green pumpkin. Okay. Classic. So instead of calling it green pumpkin, they call it a Tundra, but it's green pumpkin. This one's pretty self-explanatory as well. So Lodic White, basically it's a green pumpkin pearl. Pretty cool. This is Rock Melon CS. It's kind of a sexy, kind of a watermelon with a little bit of an orange. Here, I'll take that one out. There's another transparent one, so it'll have a different look to it. So, cool little bait there. Okay. And again, because they're elastomer, you want to make sure that you keep them in the ori original package or keep them kind of separated from other soft plastics, right? Don't put them in with your hazardongs or that kind of stuff. Just keep them, keep them separate. 
BTM Dweller, otherwise known as Bottom Dweller. I'm gonna take that one out too, because that one's pretty sexy. I want you guys to make sure you get the full color. Did you think we'd spend this much time on an Ed Rig bait, Jeff? Never in my life. So the other dope thing is that they're priced basically the same as like a Z-Man soft plastic would be. So only you get a duo soft plastic, which is cool. So there's a bottom dweller, kind of a two-tone, kind of green pumpkin and watermelon type color, but with some flake. So that'll be exciting on that one. Got another kind of two-tone here on this one. So Shroon SF, kind of a green pumpkin orange, just very subtle kind of color. <clears throat> A little bit more of a hit, Newt. So kind of more of like a brown and orange. And then finally you have Tube Worm, which is kind of like a dark brown with a little bit of purple in it. Okay, so there are your colors. So eight colors in total on this guy. Give it a shot. If you guys are throwing a Ned Rig, if you're around a smallmouth anywhere, I think this is really gonna speak to you. I think you're gonna be pleasantly surprised when you see the action in the water and you see how they react to it. Uh, again, they've been really fine tuning this thing. So give it a shot. That is the brand new Riggle ND Slim 3.0 from Duo. All right, staying in Duo, we see more new color additions to their Jerkbait lineup. Now, we've been talking about Duo Jerkbaits a lot. The Jerkbait 120 is a bait that has been in our arsenal for a long time. They are really pushing to expand the color line to really get aggressive in getting these in more anglers' hands. I know you guys would love this if you're not already throwing. It's a great upsize option to a 110. Uh, so we see a handful of new colors show up. This one is gonna show up in a 120 and a 130. This is Surigisu GB2, or maybe it's Surigisu GB the second. Mm. I'm gonna say two, yeah. right? So Jerkbait 120 and Jerkbait 130. Let me just take that color out because this color is sick. Now, you're probably noticing that it says glow on the package. I can tell you, I just spent 10 minutes with this trying to figure out exactly what glows. It's literally just very faint right here on the belly. Oh. Okay, so really if you're just like bass fishing, it, it's not gonna glow. It's just gonna look sick like this. But if you wanted it to glow, if you hold up a light long enough on that belly, you can see how it's kind of just that matte glow right there. You'll get just this little streak of glow that does glow underneath there. So super sick color. Uh, all of us kind of geeked out on that. So that is new color A. New color B is a limited run Neo Pearl UV Limited. Now Neo Pearl is an all white color that they already have in their lineup. This is a UV coated one. So it's gonna have just a slightly different hue to it. I mean, it is like we're splitting fractions here, but it does have a red eye. The other one has a silver eye. Boom. So, and it, it's, it says limited, ah. which is dope. Yes. Right? So if you want the limited version, there you go. That is a new color. Jeff, when you think sports cars, okay. what what do you think? What's the car that comes like to mind? Like a Ferrari or a Lamborghini. Yeah, what about an American sports car? An American yeah, sports car? Yeah, this is a JDM car? company, so think American sports like, car. Like a Ford GT. Corvette is what I think. Uh, that was going to be the next thing. Yeah. Corvette yellow. Oh my god. Yeah. That's so a little yellow. It's it's straight up yellow. Uh, I'm assuming that this must be an actual Corvette color. Maybe somebody on here. Yeah. Yeah. Probably not. But I would hope not. Corvette I yellow. Comment. Yeah, well, they're probably not my friend anymore. <laughs> they they're laughing. It's a joke. Just kidding, guys. Kinda. Uh what is this color? I didn't even play. Oh. Gill Flash LF. Okay. Finally a reasonable color. Yeah. So it's pretty sick. That actually. one's actually really good. Out. Yeah, I don't know why it's called Gill Flash. It's an IU color. Yeah. yeah All right. Sick. There you go. Gill Flash LF that looks nothing like a gill, but looks like one of the sexiest IU colors I've probably ever seen. This is right up your lane. Yes, sir. This is your color. That's it. Yeah. That's the one. So there you go. Can you see that real subtle yeah. flash it's on there? So sick. Dude, that's a dirty color. I like that a lot. So there you go. I should just rename it. Rename it, okay. Yeah. Clear IU Flash. There you go. Oh, we should just name it Jeff. Jeff, that's yeah. a good Jeff's one. Jeff's color. 
A super dope color that came in the 110 white bait is now available in the 85 as well. So just a really nice transparent kind of white with some smoky face, some smoky features, kind of breaks it up on the head. Just a super sick all natural bait. Those are available as well. We also see a couple new colors in the uh, Vibration 62 Apex Tune. Okay, so we see the Smoky Bone come in that and the Ghost Gill. So this is the smallest little uh, lipless in this Apex Tune. I'll spec it out for you guys. 62 millimeters, 9.7 grams, so a third ounce. Uh, just a really dope, small little finesse Hardly any noise in there at all. So I think you guys will dig that one. Those are available now as well. All right, Jeff, let's jump to OSP. We haven't talked about OSP in a, long in time, a while. It's been a while, but we see some new colors and some baits and some restocks. I know a lot of you guys have been chomping at the bit for. So let's just start flying through. So Dolai of Crawl. Yep. Okay, this is one of our favorite crawls. We talk about the three inch size all the time as kind of our go to trailer on finesse jigs. Restock across the board in all colors, green pumpkin, green pumpkin blue, all the key colors that you guys have been waiting to actually come back are back, okay? So if you've been looking for a great finesse jig trailer, those are in. We also see five new colors in the five inch version. Now the five inch version really designed as more of like a flip in punch in style bait. You of course could use it as a jig trailer if you wanna go big, but we see some new colors in that. Let's just take one out so you guys can see the five inch. So the Dole Live Crawl is just a super natural crawl. You can fish on a free rig, you can use it as a jig trailer, you can Texas rig it, everything that we've just talked about. Uh, but believe it or not, Jeff, Green Pumpkin has never been available in the five inch. Uh, are you sure about that? I'm positive. So that would be ridiculous. I was shocked. So I think this is two weeks in a row that I'm bringing in. Last week it was Beck and Crawl. Yes. It's like Green Pumpkin? We never had Why Green is Pumpkin. so hard? So for the first time here at the Hookup Tackle, Green pumpkin is available in a five inch. Yeah, <laughs> good color. Uh, we also see some other colors. You see a blueback cinnamon. You see some green pumpkin blues. You see this super dope kind of color. You see like that a two tone. So sick. That one's dirty. I love that color. Right? Yeah. So you got that guy. You got an Okeechobee crawl. Another blue. Yeah. So there's some really dope colors. That looks so good with the purple flake. Yeah, Oof. So check them out. If you guys are looking for a new kind of flip pitch bait, uh, I think you guys will really like the five inch Dole Live crawl. Anything Dole Live gets bit, right? So uh, those are available now from OSP. All right, while we're on restocks, a uh, huge restock across the board in Dole Live. So I know a lot of you guys have been waiting on Dole Live shots. This is a backlight bait, super sick bait. I also love it as a free rig bait. It has a real nice horizontal fall to it. You can fish it weightless like a Senko, but it has a great back glide to it. So those return in all colors. You ever heard of this, Jeff? Oh, that bait? I we guess sell it's a few popular. of these yeah. around here. Not so too popular. Doe Live Beavers in all colors are back. I shouldn't say all colors. Fred's not back yet. Oh. Fred's coming. But all the normal colors minus Fred are back. So your green pumpkins, your reds, three inch, three and a half, four inch, June bug, all that kind of stuff. Those are all back. And then Dole Life Sticks across the board are back. The Dole Life Stick Fat is back in all colors. And again, the fat is a great one to use as a sink alternative, but also backlights, a really great backlight base. If you guys are into that backlight bait, uh, this is another great one to try. All those returns this week from OSP. All right, Jeff, one of the cooler baits, in my opinion, that OSP makes is a bait called the Bent Minnow. Mm -hmm. Do you remember when we <clears throat> did a 1v1 a couple years ago on this? Yes. And just absolutely destroyed them. Uh, this is just one of the more unusual baits. No idea how this concept came to be. Our thought is, is that they left the bait out in the sun, it warped, and they threw it anyways, and it was so amazing, they just started producing it. <laughs> yep. Obviously not how it was done, <laughs> but uh, it's been a long time since the Bent Minnow 106 has mm. been available. We've had the smaller sizes, the 70s and the 80s, uh, but the 106 is the one that's probably the easiest to cast on casting gear. 106 millimeters, 10 grams, so it's like a true 3 8 ounce, and we get four new colors in this guy, okay? So we have pink head chartreuse. I think that one's pretty self-explanatory, right? We have this guy, this is Funarine. You see it okay in there? Yeah. Okay. Nice kind of natural bait fish pattern. We have champagne half mirror. So a nice kind of clear transparent gold. And then we have ginga. Okay, so four new colors, 
uh, plus a restock in the other colors in the 106. If you guys have been waiting on these to come, uh, if you're not familiar, I'm gonna open up that champagne half mirror because a lot of guys sleep on this color while I talk about this. If you guys are new to OSP or you've never seen, by the way, this is champagne half mirror. So don't let the color name confuse you. Completely transparent, silver sides, just a light champagne brown on the back, pearl belly. It's a super sexy wakasagi color. The bent minnow is a floating bait that is designed to fish kind of like a jerk bait or like kind of like a jerk bait walking topwater hybrid. So you're gonna twitch it and pop it and depending on which way it floats up will depend on which way it moves. So sometimes it walks side to side, sometimes it dives down, sometimes it darts up. And if you get in a routine of just kind of popping it, the bait is actually like popping out, going down, left, right. It's a super erratic movement. It drives fish crazy. You can also just throw it and wind it. And it has a really neat kind of swim, like a zigzag motion to it that a lot of times they eat as well. So if you're looking for a really fun surface bait, surface to just subsurface. The Ben Minnow is a sick one. Uh, so the 106 is back from OSP. Also back from OSP, one of our favorite smaller jerk baits. Just saw Callan walk by. This is one of your favorites, yeah? Love yeah, so trout guys absolutely freak out about this bait. This is the Durga 73 SP from OSP. So this is the smallest jerk bait. It's a true 73 millimeter 4.7 grams, so it's like 3 sixteenths of an ounce, but it casts incredibly well because it does have a dual tungsten weight transfer system. So even though it's only 3 sixteenths of an ounce, it, it rockets out there, okay? So don't be afraid to throw for small mouth, large mouth, it can go. Five new colors in this plus a full restock. I think I have gold wakasagi. Yep, so real gold wakasagi, there's a spawn red. There's a couple more dope wakasagi colors. And then of course there is a black, gold, kind of a King Kuro type color as well. So if you guys are fans of the Durga, you'll be excited. Five new colors in that, available now. All right, couple more uh, big restocks and new offerings in some smaller baits. So the Over Real Wake comes back in all colors, plus two brand new colors. So Real Gold Wakasagi, we're seeing, and Moist Wakasagi. So both of those make a splash in the line. This is a really cool, like super finesse eye motion style, but it has a lip at least. So <laughs> where the, the bait that we're gonna talk about next, this guy, the eye waver doesn't have a lip. It literally just goes straight, right? I and mean, it's got a super subtle little movement to it. It's just, ah, oh, man, I just want the thing to do something. But uh, while we're on this, I waver 74, so this is the larger size, uh, is back and five new colors in this guy, okay? Including the pro staff only color that's starting to seep in. Uh, this was a color that started in the Durga. It's now started to go through into the high cuts. Now we're seeing it in the eye waver. So some really cool color additions. Basically your difference is you've got a little lip on this. So it's, it's, gonna, it's gonna move a little bit, <laughs> right? So if you just can't embrace the do nothing concept, I get it, right? Uh, this is for specialized anglers. This is for bumps that just wanna throw and wind in and have the bait do something for you, right? So count me in the bum category. Uh, those are available now. Man, I am doing a lot of justice to yeah, these. Yeah, you're just killing it. How about the Picro? So go. the Picro 68, also back in stock, uh, plus three new colors in this guy. This is another one semi-unique that has got the lip on the top. So the idea is that the lip doesn't get in the way of the bait. So as it's just subsurface and it's moving, it's just creating a lot of flash, kind of side to side flash. Here, let me take this one out. So as you're pulling this bait, it's just creating this bait. It's just gonna flash like this. The idea is with the lip being up there and the fish are coming up here, there's nothing to get in the way. Right, so there's not a lip here that's preventing the fish from getting hooked solidly on that front hook. So you're gonna get good hook sets, you're gonna get good hookup ratio and hopefully good land ratio as well, assuming that you're throwing it on the proper rod and you're not a bum. Right? Don't that be a should bum. Be, that should be the word that's of slogan. the word of the day. Hey, don't, don't be, be a bum, bum. <laughs> throw this correctly on the right rod. Okay, so there you go. Three new colors of Picro. Those are available now from OSP. All right, and to finish up OSP, the high pitcher, we talk about the spinnerbait a lot. One of our favorite spinnerbaits. 
back in stock pretty much across all sizes in all colors in the Double Willow. Okay, so uh, they just did a huge batch for us so we could have them in time for spring. So if there's a color or a size you've been missing, quarter ounce, half ounce, three eighths ounce, right? The whites, the chartreuse, I mean, just go for it, right? So they're all here. If you guys aren't familiar with the high pitcher, just to give you an idea, there's my hand and I know I've got big hands. Big old hands, right? baby. But you can see it's a super compact spinner bait, super tight. It just has a great action to it. Fish chomp it, just lets you fish a super downsized spinner bait. So all of those return from OSP. All right, Jeff, let's jump over to Sims. I know you've been looking at me really kind of funny today. Mm -hmm. I know I'm looking good. You just want to reach into good? my pocket. Hmm. What are you going to say, Gray? Uh, Thanks, maybe Jeff. A, uh, you know one of my favorite shirts is a Santee flannel. Yes, it okay? is. Okay, we got some new colors. Okay. Okay, so these are amazing flannels. Uh, mm. We wear them all the time. If you go back through any past videos, you'll see me wearing the <laughs> yeah. multicolored. In fact, you see me wearing this yeah, one that's all the time, one. right? Uh, by the way, these have sold out every time we've got them, that's they're back. That's insane. So if you guys need to add an extra one, I literally brought like 12 of these to Japan yeah. when we went. I wore one every day. Yeah. Yeah, so sick. So they're super soft. They have a hood. They have snaps. So you can just, you know, go home to your wife. Just be like, honey. Rip it off. I'm home. Yeah. Right? Everything you need. Uh, also discovered today that there's some big internal <laughs> pockets that I didn't even know they had. <laughs> Thank you, Ethan, for showing me. So you can store tons of stuff in here, I guess, if you want your shirt to weigh 52 pounds. <laughs> But multicolor, those are back. Uh, also, the blue flannel is back as well. And by the way, these all have our hookup logo on the chest. And then we add two new colors. So we've had this before in the Daiwa mm. one, but we've never done it in the hookup. I loved it so much I did it in the hookup. So that is the Navy Sterling Camp Plaid. And then check out this one. This one's sexy brand new color mm -hmm. in that as well. So if those speak to you, those are available now. The shirt I'm wearing, the we shop shirt. We don't need to talk about that. Dude, it's awesome. And it's also available in another color. Oh. So you've got this sick pinstripe. <laughs> what? I'm sorry. Dude, you're insulting. You, you said sick. <laughs> yeah. Super sick pinstripe. And we also have this blue, okay? So the blue has been the most popular here in the shop the last couple days because of the patch. So you, there are different Sims patches on there. So this is more of like a retro throwback. This is more of just, you know, clean. So if you want to look dope like me and work on some manifolds and some fluxes, stock up, right? New from Sims. Nailed it, Jeff. All right, we've been completely run over on A-Rigs. I get it. Right, tons of people saying, hey, when are you gonna restock A-Rigs? Huge A-Rig restock this week from Hog Farmer. Uh, this is one of our favorite A-Rigs. Basically, all the rigs across the board are back. If you've been waiting on BFL rigs, mop rigs, mop deuce, harvesters, four blade, eight blades, right? They all are back. We also added two new A-Rigs to the lineup, uh, new for us, okay? So the Tactical Bassin, mini flex rig four blade is now available we've been catching a ton of fish on mini a rigs uh so i think you guys will absolutely destroy them on this one it has the longer arms on the bottom which is dope uh so i think you guys will really dig that the flex rig of course a little bit lighter wire so that things move uh when you pop it there's also the three hook harvester rig Okay, so if you want the big rig, but only can put three hooks, like if you're in California, instead of the traditional seven that the original harvester comes with, uh, those are available now from Hog Farmer as well. And then we added all the new colors, uh, plus did a big restock in the Spunk Shad. So Spunk Shads sell like crazy here. A lot of guys use them as a shaky head or a Ned, but a lot of guys use them as like a Chatterbait trailer. Super, super popular for that. Uh, so we see some new colors land. We have a Disco Shad, we have a, a Green Pumpkin Chartreuse. There's a Sunfish, a Tennessee Shad, and an electric shad land in all sizes. Uh, so you're gonna basically have like three, five, four, five, five, five in those from Hog Farm. Jeff, I forgot to mention while we were on Mega Bass, mm. I have no Triza rod. Well, actually I do have some Trizas. So Triza is one of our favorite travel rods. Uh, I do have a couple models, like I think the Stim Politis, the seven foot medium heavy is in stock, but just in time to not have a lot of models, 
I have the Trizer carrying Bingo, baby. case. So maybe Let's you guys go. bought Trizers before and have had no way to carry them. You've just been dying for the case to come back. Here you go. There you go. Yeah, not sure why the timing works out the way it does, but hey. We're here Better now. to have them than not have them at all. Uh, this is a cool, like I would call it a semi-hard case, right? So it's structured. Uh, you can store probably four rods if you keep them without reels. If you keep reels on there, you can you can fit two realistically inside of here. Uh, there is an outside compartment as well, so you can put one of those cool new boxes in there maybe. Let's find out. Will it fit the 120? Yeah, it'll fit the 120. No problem, like a glove. The 86, no problem, look at that. Right in there, it's probably the better one. Okay, so wall supplies last, tries the travel bags, those are back. All right, and then finally a moment that I've been dying for. This is it. You know how much I love this reel. Yes. Okay. The Daiwa Exist 3000. If you guys have been paying any attention, this is the brand new Exist MQLT. When this came out last year, I was a little bit critical mm. that they did the 2500 in a high speed and the 3000 in a low speed and a deep spool. There's a 3000D. So it's dope. It's really cool. But if you're a true bottom contact guy or you're looking for a reel to really throw bottom contact, it's nice to have the high speed, right? So they listened, they brought out a regular size spool so it's not deep so you can throw braid on it in a 3000H, okay? Brand new, exists. LT3000H, let's just put it together so we can just look at the beauty. You're shaking your head, but you know you wanna see this thing. All right, if you are new here, I am showing you the greatest spinning reel ever made. Mm. Bold. Facts. Man. That's bold. Here you go. All the hate comments just started, by oh, the yeah. way. Yeah. Sorry still, guys. You obviously never use an exist. So there you go. 3000 exists, so a little bit shallower spool. So you don't have to worry about having that deep spool. So it's going to be a little bit lighter, a little bit easier to line up, just a little bit of backing, hit it with your you know, braid, and you're good to go, right? All the features of the exist that we've always loved. Now, as far as gear she goes, before you freak out, 5.7 to one. And I know that doesn't seem fast, but that gear ratio with the shallower spool picks up 33.6 inches of line per turn, okay? Which, if you're trying to figure out how that computes in bait casting language, here's the Tatula XS, which is their 8.1 to one. It's 31.9 inches. So let's just round up. 32 inches for an eight to one baitcaster, 33.6 for this guy. So it'd be somewhere like an eight three to one, something like that. So you're getting a lot higher gear ratio. So again, if you're looking for the ultimate, really, I mean, the ultimate reel to put on a bottom contact rod, like a Windbuster or Steez or something like that, this is the one to get new from Daiwa. Wall supplies last, okay? Because I'm about to go buy a bunch and put them on my rods. The Exist LT 3000H is in stock right now. All right, Jeff, let's end things with a fun little segment. Okay. Okay, so I know a lot of people here pay attention to our videos uh, through the course of the week, but I know a lot of people here don't. Uh, yes. Right? And I'm disappointed in you. That is very right? sad. I hear all the time, like, oh, I watch you every Sunday morning. And trust me, That's I am amazing. so appreciative of that. Thank you very much. But by the way, we also post videos every Tuesday and Thursday. So you can watch those too. They're really good. Most of them are just me talking about nonsense. Okay? What is bringing me to this point, Jeff? Well, yeah. on Thursday, yeah. we dropped a video that we shot in Japan with our buddy Hideki, the owner of Tekel, basically bringing the cat out of the bag on a brand new limited edition drop that Tekel is doing to celebrate their 10th anniversary. It's the 10th anniversary of Tekel, and they are making a one-time batch of a very special 10-year anniversary kick knocker. Okay, they're doing it in 10 colors. They're only gonna do it one time. It's just a celebration thing, right? So if you haven't watched that video, take, it's only 10 minutes long, take a few minutes, 
go back and watch it. Hideki's always great to talk to, probably one of the most fascinating you know, industry people, uh, just his mindset. Jeff will put a link somewhere around here. Just don't cover this, Jeff. Okay, that's okay? fine. Take a few minutes, go check it out. The reason I am talking about it right now is A, I want you to see it. B, I want to talk through the colors with you guys because if you watch that video and you go to the description, we're actually giving away one of each of the colors. Okay, so we're gonna draw a winner. You just have to follow the rules in the description. Okay, follow, do it correctly. And then next week on our What's New video, we're gonna announce the winner. So if you guys wanna be the very first people to have your hands on them, look, this is the first one I've had. So we haven't, you haven't even thrown these. If you're not gonna watch it, I'm gonna demonstrate. Here is the original kick knocker, right? So this is the original material. It's a very hard, very loud sound. The 10th anniversary is gonna be made out of a bone ABS. So it's a little bit softer material. It's a different pitch. It's the same shape. Everything's the same about it except for the material. So where this is the sound from the kick knockers you're used to, this is the sound out of the 10th year anniversary. So definitely different. It's a distinct sound, something just a little bit different and cool, but there's also 10 very special colors that aren't made in the kick knocker now. So there's colors like Aurora Black, there's a Black Bird. I thought Griff stole some of the colors. I'm surprised you didn't. I am too, I'm, I'm like, wait a minute, surprised. where did all my colors go? But I, I found them. All right, so there's Flitter Shad. There's some really dope bone colors in here, right? There's a little striper. And then of course, Hideki was nice enough to do a shop custom color. You know, we do White Walker in the Kick Knocker. So we mix it up, Bone Walker. Okay, so that same kind of beautiful crackle matte finish, but in a bone instead of a true white. Uh, these are going to be available in April. We'll leave a link in this description as well. If you guys want to pre-order them, we are doing a pre-order on the full set. Okay, where you can order one of each color for 10 colors if you want to pre-order them. Some of these are going to be super limited and will probably only be available in the full set. Uh, so I'd grab them if they speak to you, if all the colors speak to you. Uh, as far as single purchase, they're expected to be here sometime in April. Okay, so they should land just in time for kind of that post-spawn early summer top water season. Uh, so congratulations to Tekle, 10 year anniversary is super dope. Uh, so definitely go check that out and comment in that video. Get a chance to win next week. We will announce the winners and ship these off to you guys and maybe you can be the first one to catch one on the new Cake Knocker. All right, Jeff, that's all I got. That's it? You know what time it is, beer oh, 30. Yeah. There it is. Ham and egg in a can. Now we can move on to lunch. Okay. What do you think? Good uh, episode? Yeah, I thought this was a fantastic episode. There so wasn't cool too stuff. many ridiculous things in it. Yeah, this everything we talked about was cool. It was reasonable. Right, yeah. So I think everything's going to go in my boat. Uh, I'm going to start with the exists, and then I'm going to go over to Libero's before everybody gets them. I already got the boxes, and obviously I got the good shirts. So I think I'm going to be in good shape. Uh, guys, on behalf of myself and Jeff and everybody here at the Hookup Tackle, guys, thank you for your patience and your time of watching our videos every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday, right? Uh, thank you guys for your business. Thank you for your support. If you guys have questions on anything that we covered today, drop them down below. I will definitely get an answer for you. Jeff will leave links to everything if you guys want to check anything out closer or scoop any of it up while it's in stock. On behalf of myself and everybody, have a wonderful weekend, guys. Hug your family, catch some giant fish, drink some delicious Orion, the best beer in the world. Peace, my friends. See you next week or Tuesday.